recruit AI script. What's up everybody, this is Gunter Serverlo. Today I'm going to share with you a script you can use in your missions to recruit and command AI. Let's go to the editor. We're gonna go to Stratus. And then we're gonna go to the top left and open a mission that I have set up to demonstrate the recruit AI. So we're gonna go to Stratus, Re recruit AI script. The first thing you want to do is you want to place a sign or a flagpole or some object that you can walk up to and spawn AI. So in this particular notice board, I have a code that adds an action where you can walk up to it and it'll give you a word that says recruit AI. You could actually name it whatever you want. You could say recruit infantry, recruit soldiers, spawn soldiers, spawn AI, whatever you want within these two brackets here. And then once you do that, it'll, the code opens up to the script and you'll get a list of AI. I'm gonna place down a blue four soldier as a player. And then we're gonna play the mission. So the way this works is you just walk up to the sign and as you can see in front of me, it says recruit AI. So once I recruit AI, I'll basically get a list. Now this is a default list of the faction that I currently am. Let's recruit a missile specialist. I set the time for three seconds so he should show up. So we have a missile specialist. Two, stop. Roger that. And let's recruit heavy gunner, combat lifesaver, machine gunner. There you go. When you go to recruit AI, the script is going to grab what faction that you're part of. So if you're blue four, it's gonna grab all the units for blue four, depending on the subcategory. So for example, let's say we put down a special forces guy, a recon scout. Anything under that subcategory, under the factions for blue four, will show up in the list. So I'll rec recruit a recon, recon scout, uh, paramedic, sharpshooter, paramedic, and the other guy is a sharpshooter. So you could do this with OP4. So we place an OP4 soldier down. You're basically going to Recruit anything that's in your faction. AT, Missile Specialist, Viper, Operative. You're really only going to be able to recruit what's in the list. So if you take a look at these lists, it has to be infantry. So if you put in, if you go under men, you'll get a long list of all these that you could recruit. So if we go under urban, we got all these guys that we rec we can recruit. So I'll put this guy down. And here's my guy, recruit the AI. So we've got an auto rifleman. Missile Specialist, Combat Lifesaver, Sharpshooter. We could even go to Independent and choose a soldier. So let's go to Rifleman. Helicopter crew, UV, UV, UAV operator, officer, uh, that's from a DLC, you go to the civilian group, all kinds of people I'm 
journalist, paramedic, fisherman, farmer. It's a paramedic. There's our fisherman, I think. Here's our armor dude. You can even do the same if you have a mod like RHS or Cup or IFA3 or other mods. Let's go to the mission folder and I'll show you the setup and the codes and the other requirements of how to make this work and some other aspects to this. We are now in the mission recruit AI script dot stratus. All you need to make this script work is bond recruit units it has all the scripts in it and you just put that into your mission folder the root folder and then you'll have a description dot ext so we're going to open that up and in the description we have two lines of code one that opens a common.hpp file and another one that opens up a recruitment.hpp and then you have the init sqf and this is a code that initializes the recruitment script now if we go into the folder itself let's go to the init.sqf the only thing that you really need to concern yourself with that's here is this line it says bond max units allowed equals 10 what that means is you can recruit 10 infantry units under your command if you want to recruit more you could just just change this number to whatever number you desire if you want to recruit less then again just change the number lower the number now the next is the recruit.sqf where it says sleep once you choose the AI that you want to recruit or spawn, it'll take three seconds for him to spawn. You can change this number and make it longer. You can make it say 10 seconds or five seconds, however long you want. So something else I want to show you is back in the INITSQF, just under where it says bond max units allowed, which is the 10. We go down a little bit and we go to line 12, which is this, it says bond dynamic list equals true. Now currently, the list is dynamic which means it captures whatever faction you chose and whatever subcategory you chose in that faction the list will basically dynamically have those units on the sign or the pole or whatever you're going to use to recruit ai if you set this to false i'm going to set this to false and i'll show you what what this does so if you set this to false you're going to want to save it and you can close this then you're going to go to this script here. It says recruitable units static .sqf. So you open this and what you have here, you could specify what units that you want to spawn. Let's go back to the editor and grab a couple of codes. We're back in the editor. What we're going to do is we're going to grab some class names from some specific units and then put them in there. We're going to grab a pilot, place them and right click him and then go find in asset browser and what that'll do is it'll open up a new menu and you'll get class B pilot underscore F now the class name here is this so what you do is you press control C to copy it and then let's go into the back into the script and place this code let's grab the marksman and we'll do a UAV operator and let's do a helicopter pilot. We'll grab the class name for the helicopter pilot, class name for the marksman, grab the class name for the UAV operator. go back to the mission folder and I'll show you what this looks like we're now back in the mission folder and here you can see I've added the class names so now that we have this let's go back into the mission and recruit these units we're back in the editor we're just gonna place a, a rifleman as our player and then we're gonna play and so we're gonna go up to the sign and as you can see we have a pilot we could recruit 
a helicopter pilot we can recruit, a marksman we can recruit, and a UAV operator that we can recruit. Now this is good for missions that are going to have specific types of units. You can see we have our helicopter pilot, we have our UAV operator, we have our marksman, and we have our fighter pilot. Alright guys, I'll have this mission linked in the description of the video so you can download it and use the scripts themselves or use the, the mission as a template and a guide. I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, I will catch you guys on the next video. Bye.